Hello, my name is Markus Sprung. Um, I'd like to show you a small experiment I did in, in the last weeks with uh, WebGL and to visualize data from running um, Java applications. So here you see a graph. You can rotate, you can zoom in or zoom out. When you zoom in, you see uh, nodes and, and, the, and links between the nodes. So the arrows uh, show the direction of the link. At the moment, there is just a static model running. So this is a kind of demo mode. Um, and I'd like to demonstrate you how to, to start, what you have to do to, to capture data from your PC from running Java applications. Good. So the first is um, you have to download the, the agent and, and in this small web application. Um, you find the link on Software Engineering Candies. Uh, there is a in the category experiments. There's a small uh, article, a live visualization of call stack in running Java applications with three uh, library. Uh, if you open this, um, you find here some some words about what I did and, and how it works. And here you see a link to GitHub. So just click on the the link, and you see the all the sources. This is a complete Eclipse project uh, to download. Either you you fork it on GitHub directly from from Eclipse, or you you download the zip. Uh, file storage to a temporary uh, um, directory and then import it to, to Eclipse. So with this uh, complete uh, Eclipse project, you will see this. You have here in principle three uh, projects. One is the uh, the monitor. This is all what you need for the vis visualization. Then uh, the so-called agent. The agent captures data from running Java applications. In principle, this is very easy. You just uh, ask your, your running virtual machine, please give me at the moment the call stack. For this, there is an API. Uh, this tools uh, jar library, it's part of the JDK. So to run this, it's important to have JDK installed. Um, this agent is very, very small, just five classes. Um, you have a kind of model where all the, the information is stored and an item type class. Um, you have the main application. Let's go in. In the main application, you get some parameter from the uh, command line. And here, here you see, here is, uh, is the start of an HTTP server. So the agent runs on your local machine and starts an HTTP server. And the client fetches the data, data from the HTTP server. So, and here you see the start of the call stack analyzer. It gets the model. Here is the information then in. And, uh, the information about the process ID. Good. Um, let's have a look at the start script here in, in, in the monitor. You find uh, a directory where this agent, it's a jar file, uh, will be stored after the build. And I programmed a small test application. Yeah, this te test application is a small swing application, very simple. It just is a small interface which runs uh, heap sort, merge sort, and quick sort. Um, for this application, I used uh, Spring. The reason for that is that I need some library stuff to have a large application than just a, a, a very small swing application. So, in the start script, close this. In the, in the start script, uh, 
you set the the, the, the Java home of to your JDK. Um, then this is what you maybe have to to change on your PC because your JDK is in a different part. So if you like to run this uh, agent, you have to change this line. Then uh, the client is started, the test client is started. This test client stores a small file with the process ID. And this process ID is then taken in this batch to start the agent. Yeah, And here, this is the port information. Here you find the process ID. So let's start the agent. Um, OK, so what you see here is this is a process ID of the started test client. And here you see the, the agent started. This agent serves now on HTTP uh, on, the, on the name of, of this PC. Um, but you can also use here localhost with the port uh, 33333. And let's see what happens if you connect from the check agent. So we start now the import. Now the data are imported directly from the, from the agent. And you see here, so every two, two seconds, there is an update. So you have a live picture of what happens in this application. If you do something here, you see suddenly a lot of new nodes appear. These are method calls. Then the interface is, is not so busy. And you see uh, all the, the currently active nodes. So if you select here, maybe quick sort, you see this will disappear and some new things. So the, the quick sort will uh, appear. Uh, you have the possibility to, to filter in the interface. So this is a filter by activity. So if this index is high, just the very active uh, method calls are displayed. And if it's low, almost everything is displayed what is active. And here you can filter by, na by a regular expression. So here I filtered out the, the thread run method. We will see why. <laughs> because uh, we have a lot of calls to the thread run uh, uh, method. So uh, if I just filter to to a string like uh, Jaka, uh, you see here, um, this, what to say, in principle, this is the, the, the business logic of this small program. So if I uh, activate a uh, quick sort, then you see heap sort disappears. The quick sort is now active. If I activate a merge sort, then the quick sort will disappear and merge sort will be uh, active. So, uh, I like this approach very much because it's, oh, it's busy. <laughs> um, if I stop the import, uh, you see still the, the nodes moving, but no new nodes and no disappearing nodes. You can now have a deeper look when you filter, uh, either by, by the string again, um, or Back. So uh, this arrangement of the nodes, this is something which is um, done with uh, a small simulation. I use Barnes Hut uh, algorithm for the n body simulation. So all nodes uh, repulse each other, and the links uh, have a kind of uh, spring force. So you can change some parameter, uh, for instance, the default distance of the link. And then you see it here live. Uh, if you change the parameter of the simulation, this is a spring constant. Um, this is the size of this, the, 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 the possible uh, square uh, cube where the nodes are in. So 
If you have large models, you have to increase this. And this is a charge, so it, it is the force for the uh, repulsion of the of the nodes. If this is small, then everything comes closer to the center, and if it's large, it's it's more. We will have more distance. Okay, so um, just experiment, run it, uh, try it out. It's very interesting to see what what's happening live in a, even in a very small application. And I tested it with, for instance, I analyzed uh, Eclipse itself. Uh, you find here very long chains of of of. Uh, method calls like these loops uh, in Eclipse. These loops are even even longer, very long, and uh, it's much more easier to to understand what happens in in your software. So I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any problems, just drop a mail uh, or write a comment here uh, at uh, Software Engineering Candies. Um, Maybe you, you look in detail to the, the JavaScript code for the rendering of the uh, WebGL stuff. It's, I think, very interesting. And, and also the N-body simulation could be interesting for you. Yeah, wish you a nice evening and um, see you.